Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you to you the library management system. Uh, if you are if you are following what I'm doing in this video, um, please open your um workbench 5.7 and netbench 8.2. Uh, first, uh you download the the file or the project then I will share it to you the link in the description um, paste okay then this is the window then click the download button then download anyway then it will download the File 42.9 MB. Then after that, um, after the download, uh, open the file. Let's refresh. Okay, then ex extract the file here in the download folder. Okay. This is the this is the file. Then open this file, text file or text document. This database, open it. Either Notepad or Word WordPad. This is the database script. So highlight this. Let's copy this one. Then paste it to my SQL workbench then uh, let's add SQL file then paste the script then highlight all of this script control A then click this icon execute the selected portion of the script for everything highlighted so run the program then all the script is completed okay so let's refresh this uh, ta um, tab then refresh all then this is the database LMS library management system then this is the table uh, this is the tables then open your netbeans um, do not open the library management system in Apache netbeans uh, 13 because there's a lot of conflict about look and feel so you need to open it in netbeans 8.2 but if you want to open in Apache netbeans um, 13 you should remove the um, look and feel so let's proceed okay so open project so okay this download then click this folder or project open project so this is the project then let's run this project okay so let's wait for a while so if it is there's no conflict with your database uh, the login login frame will show but if there's a conflict this login form will not show because um, the database configuration will pop up so let's close this one if you configure the uh, database connection you can configure here in LMS that util package so config that initial then click this one then this is the uh, configuration for example if uh, change your password here for example uh, your pass password in your MySQL is admin 
then let's try but my password is aldrin then it should be error because uh, password admin is wrong so let's try then run then access denied for user root because our user is root then the password is using password is yes so means uh, this is wrong password so this is the error then configure so let's change it to aldrin this password uh, i do not include the uh, location of the mysql driver because uh, this is already mysql so we only change the uh, driver then the jdbc ip address or local host then database if we rename the database but um, i suggest that no need to change lms database because maybe uh, you there's an error if you change it then the root of my sql is add uh, my password of my sql is root then let's change it to aldrin then save connection then connection successfully connected to the database so the login form will show so let's try to uh, login in a login form you use admin admin because that is the default um, username and password because our um, data, database here is for example we need to find user oh no let's proceed to mysql workbench then let's okay uh, view data uh, let's uh, create another oh no let's create sql then select select um asterisk a uh, username of oh, username and password password then uh, from user okay so let's try this is a uh, the default is username is admin then admin so let's proceed to our application then admin then press enter then this is the uh, main menu of the library management system so first is for example if you want to add um, let's say um, you add books so proceed manage books so click this then if you want to add books then add click then you need to add purchaser so for example this is purchaser then add book because purchaser buy mini books let's add books okay so you can add um books here so in isbn 13 i do not include isbn 10 because that is old um there's this uh that is old but isbn 13 is more um complete because isbn 10 is uh, obsolete isbn some of the books are they don't have isbn 10 so isbn 13 so if you want to put ISBN then title then if you want to add author just click author here then select for example then if you want to add a new new author just click new then type the author of the book so that's it how you add books okay so for example 
um, we have here student data this is the data of students so we don't have for example um oh no, let's proceed in administration books this is books author publisher type of a book genre then call number which is the location of book where it uh, where it belong in shelves so here this is the user table you want to add user or manage user then purchaser uh, purchaser or librarian the one who purchased books then course of the um, course of the student then here is the penalty okay so the penalty of um, students who are late in returning books so that is the penalty then this is the faculty okay by the way and uh, this software is not um, for sale this is for educational and I'm not guaranteed that this is a uh, hundred percent functional because I create this for educational um, maybe in next year I will uh, sell my almost uh, oh no I think three or five software in fiber so just follow me if you want to buy a software so uh, let's go back to the um, tutorial so if you want to borrow books here um, just click borrowed books then we don't know what is the student if the student this is the student so if you use um, name or barcode of the student um, student ID has barcode so just um, scan the ID then uh, for example how to scan if you have a barcode scanner okay uh, let's see okay let's uh, let us see the barcode of Aldrin Jimmy so click this one then copy then this is the where's the barcode okay just click this one then add barcode this is the barcode so copy this one copy the barcode then uh, con uh, paste the barcode then press enter then this is the um, um information of the student who who want to borrow the book then if you have a barcode scanner again then scan the isbn then let's see for example if it is uh, uh let's let's see the um isbn so this book is 12 so let's try um then let's type uh, for example this is uh, example uh, let's assume that this is uh, ISBN but ISBN is a lot of character but example this is the ISBN then press enter so you need to borrow books no there's no photo here so let's try uh, borrow another book book has um photo okay let's try this copy this um isbn then borrowed books proceed so same to the barcode of students uh, then enter the isbn then this is the book which is scga so okay so this is the borrow okay so press enter then 
click yes if you want to continue then yes so this is uh aldrin jimmy barrow scga sun certified java associates so he borrowed the book so this is the price this is the author here so if again for example and in next day um Aldrin uh, um Kawuso Jamie or Aldrin Jamie uh, want to return the book then scan the barcode of student then scan the ISBN then enter so this is uh, automatically return the book because um uh this book is already borrowed so the system will detect that this book is you need to return so for example if uh, that is return if we select another book which is 12 so borrowed okay but if we press if if we press the borrowed books so it will automatically pop up the return window so you need to return then okay yes then the ECDA book will return so you don't have penalties because um not due to three days okay based on your um penalty here which is days borrowable is two days so not exceed in two days so you return the book so you don't have penalties okay so let's proceed this is the um the borrowed so alton jimmy borrowed the advanced server so this is the active borrowed books so here the student so for example if view report let's view the report of student penalty so no student uh, has panel penalty of borrowing books so penalty okay this is the penalty so some old records here is um, for example if penalty payment so if if the user um receive payments about this one this is uh enabled because others uh, is there is no penalty already so there's no penalty so the button pay penalty is disabled so i create this project because um i want i want you to know the relationship between this um the data here um i i include the schema of the database so that you will trace the um you will trace the relationship of the table this is the um design of the database of library management system so open the project which is LMS then this is the schema this is the database data is structure only so in next video guys I want to create installer of this project so so that um, you can um, easily install the and easy to use the library management system so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next um, video. So, bye-bye.